The words hung heavy in the air, remnants of chains echoing in the hushed hall. Quinn, his voice seasoned with history's weight, had painted a vivid picture of slavery scars, generations. It was a portrait ray and unflinching, yet laced with a quiet resilience. As the applause faltered, a man named Thomas, his eyes burning with a question, rose. Mr. Quain, he said, voice trembling, if you could change it all, would you erase slavery? Just wipe it from existence. Quain paused, the silence stretching. His gaze swept the room, faces etched with both pain and pride. Then, he nodded. Yes, without hesitation, a swirling vortex materialized, humming temporal energy. A hand, spectral and cold, beckoned Quain forward. He looked back at the audience, their faces now a tapestry of emotions. Then, with a resolute breath, he stepped into the unknown. He materialized in a sun-drenched village, the air thick with the scent of mangoes and laughter. Time had rewound, slavery shadow yet to fall. He warned the villagers, his voice hoarse from urgency, of ships waiting on the horizon, of chains glinting in the sun. His pleas were met with disbelief, murmurs of superstition, and the comforting ignorance of peace. Days turned to weeks, the villagers' smiles widening as slavery's specter remained a phantom. Yet, a gnawing emptiness grew within Quaid, the vibrant rhythms of Harlem street vendors, the soaring sermons of King, the defiant rhymes of Tupac, all were fading whispers, erased by his attempt to rewrite history, he walked the sun-baked dirt, a stranger in his own heritage. The clothes he wore felt alien, the music that pulsed in his soul muted. Then, one night, under a sky ablaze with a million stars, he knew. Slavery, for all its horrors, had birthed something beautiful, a resilience forged in fire. A melody born from sorrow, he stumbled back to the portal, his pleas tearing through the fabric of time. Let me back, he cried, let me return to the scars, to the struggle, to the song. The vortex shimmered, revealing a tearful Thomas. It's too late, he whispered, the timeline has shifted, despair clawed at Quaid. But then, he saw it. A glint of defiance in Thomas' eyes, a newfound understanding. This world, shaped by a different past, still held the seeds of resistance. The echoes of a silenced melody waiting to be reborn. Quaim smiled, a tear tracing a path down his cheek. He may not have the familiar tapestry of African-American history, but the spirit of it, the indomitable will, remained. He would weave a new song, a song of resilience born from a different soil, yet echoing with the same defiant beat. It wouldn't be the same path, but it was still a path, a path paved with hope, with the unyielding spirit of humanity refusing to be silenced. And as the portal closed, Quaim raised his voice, a new song rising from dashes of time, a testament to the fact that even in the face of the raised histories, the human spirit finds a way to sing. Quain blinked back tears, as the vortex swallowed him whole, spitting him back into the same hushed hall. The uproars had died down, replaced by an expectant silence. He looked at the faces, still etched with memories of his story, and saw a new understanding reflected in their eyes. He cleared his throat and spoke, his voice no longer heavy with just the pain of the past, but infused with a newfound gratitude. Yes, I said I would erase slavery, but standing here, amidst the echoes of what it birthed, I see now the folly of such a wish. He traced the outline of his suit, a symbol of progress and through struggle, the music that moves our souls, the voices that cry for justice, the inventions that bridge divides, all the threads woven from the fabric of a history we cannot wish away. He gestured to a young girl in the front row, her dreadlocks adorned with shimmering beads. Without the fight for freedom, would your laughter fill this room with such vibrant music? Without the tears shed on cotton fields, would your voice ring with such fierce hope? His gaze swept across the audience, encompassing the pain and the pride, the scars and the triumphs. No, my friends, the darkness may have been profound, but within it bloomed a fire, a resilience that forged our identity, our legacy. He held up his hand, silencing the murmurs of agreements. I stand before you, not to glorify the horrors of the past, but to implore you to honor them. Remember the chains that bound, the whips that cracked, the voices silenced. For it is from those ashes that we rose, taller, stronger, our spirits etched with the unyielding spirits of our ancestors. He paused, the silence thick with understanding. So let us not erase the past, but learn from it. Let us carry the torch of resilience. Let our voices rise in harmony. Our inventions bridge divides. Our creativity paints a future, where the scars of the past become stepping stones to a brighter tomorrow. As the uproars erupted, thunderous and heartfelt, Quain knew he had not merely told a story. He had awakened a truth, a shared understanding that the past, however painful, was the prologue to their presence, the foundation on which they stood, proud and united. A testament to the human spirit's ability to transform even the darkest nights into a song of hope. And in that moment, Quain was no longer just a storyteller. He was a bridge, a conduit between the echoes of the past and the symphony of the future, forever changed by the journey that had taken him away and brought him back, bearing not just the scars of history, but a heart overflowing with gratitude for the hidden blessings they bore.